So the spindle on the Wells Index CNC is a uh, quick switch 200 spindle taper. The only one I got with the machine was this drill chuck. So I've been searching eBay and I was able to find a few on there for a decent price. And then uh, as they're shipping in the mail, Tom Lipton shares a little Instagram post about uh, how he uses them in his lathe tailstock and kind of probably <clears throat> set the market off on those a little bit. Uh, thankfully, my friend Joe Way, he, uh, he set me up and uh, I got something else from him too.
Okay, well there it is, uh, Wells Index 750 CNC. Um, it appears to be the same controller as the other one. Uh, this one, however, it's uh, got a much bigger uh, column, square column, and uh, bigger castings. It has a three horsepower motor as opposed to a two horse on the other one. And uh, it has uh, servo motors instead of separate motors. So, I don't know, I bought it. Um, see what I can do with it. So the Z-axis on the 700, it has a shaft that comes up and the servo, servo motors um, up here. And in this case, it has a belt drive that just goes to the ball screw here. Um, so this is, the, this is the motor portion here of the AC servo. And then in here is a, uh, is a tachometer. And then on the Z-axis, there's a resolver right here. You can see it right there. But um, on the X and Y, the resolver is on the ball screw here. So... Um, when I force power to the machine, uh, the Z-axis starts traveling down at uh, negatively at a pretty slow rate, and then um, X and Y don't move at all. So that's kind of weird. I think what's going on is um, it has uh, the um, Z-axis servo amplifier is bad, and um, I'm getting kind of mixed feelings about that. Um, I'm not really sure what the best route would be to replace all of the uh, servo amplifiers with new servo drivers or um, try to make do with one servo amplifier and uh, y you know if that was the case just to replace the the one bad servo amplifier with new servo drivers it would be um, a, a series of several different Mesa cards that I would need to run this machine um, it would be you know one for the resolvers, uh, analog, one for analog input for the AC servos, and then um, one for uh, digital output too, I think. I don't know for sure, but um, I'll look into it. And I think for what, for now, what I'm going to do is uh, kind of put this machine on the back burner and focus on the 700. Um, right now I'm working on the way oiler for that machine. It's the same as the way oiler on this machine, this um, uh, tri tribone. Uh, EC pump um, and um, get that get that running on the for the 700 and uh, try to you know just focus on getting that machine running. Um, this one I did get a, a knee crank with it that I didn't get with the 700, so that's pretty handy to have. And then uh, three manuals for this machine that didn't come with the 700. If you're not subscribed to Joe Way's channel, um, go check that out. He's a great guy. I met him initially at uh, the YouTube meet and greet at uh, Chuck Bomarino's place. And uh, him and his wife are just extremely nice people. And I'm glad to have met him there and, and that he was able to put me in touch with this machine and get me the tooling package I needed for the 700. And, uh, you know, if nothing else, um, this machine is uh, it's a parts machine for the, for the 700. So with that, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.